Hello everybody, I am Doug. So today we would be discussing about non-maximum suppression. So what is NMS? So NMS is also known as non-maximum suppression. So this is a technique which is used in uh, object detection where so in an object detection for example if I want to detect an object I, if I want to detect this object in a image what happens is that in a CNN the image is scanned and the features are extracted from the image so after uh, so if I say this is a complete uh, this is some complete image and I want to detect this black box inside the image so this image would be scanned and the features of various part of the image would be extracted so the feature which are uh, uh, which are extracted from this particular part if it matches with the feature of a black box then this will become a proposal proposal region that is a proposal region is something where I can say a object a detected object exists so there could be another region this region which could say yeah this uh, this is con can also become a proposal a proposal let's say a proposal p2 this is nothing but a proposal p1 so the proposal p1 contains a complete image so it is pretty much confident so it, let's say it has a 90 percent probability and say it, i am 0 0.9 uh, uh, 0.9 confident the confidence score is 0.9 that I, it contains an object p2 contains partial uh, partial of this object so it says yeah i am 0 0.6 confident over the uh, uh, containing this object so there could be another proposal region let's say this we say i am 0.3 confident so there could be multiple proposal region for the same object and what happens is that the, uh, if we like to see what is the output of our object detection network we will see this output which is being just displayed so what happens is that in a non maximum suppression we see that there are three proposals for this particular for, uh, for this particular object what we do we will suppress we will suppress all but maximum of the maximum confident proposal or proposal having maximum confidence score so as we can see p1 has a maximum confidence score so p1 will become a final proposal all the other two proposals will be discarded so what happens is that for this image we will see something like this so if this is an image and here is a black box so we will only see this red one having a 0.9 confidence score this technique of discarding the proposals for a same detected object which are not maximum is known as non maximum suppression okay so how does it actually works so we will see uh, how will it work so the first thing is that we have to find out all the find out all the proposals for a particular detected object for detected for single detected object okay then we will simply discard all but maximum but the maximum among them so these are the only two steps which we will follow in finding out the uh, maximum uh, in finding out the uh, maximum pr proposal maximum confident proposal so what happens one more uh, so how is it implemented so there are uh, there is uh, let's say let's move into some uh, algorithmic part what happens in uh, if we have to implement it how we will do so uh, let's say i have proposal p1 p2 p3 p4 and p5 and p6 let's say 
they are all for uh, all the six proposal or for the all, all six proposal are for single object and let's say they have 0 0.4 0 0.6 0 0.8 0 0.7 0 0.3 0 0.4 2. So what happens? We will run two loop. Let's say for, uh, we will run loop on i. Let me. We will run loop on i. Then we will run loop on j, where i would be zero to. Let's say here it is six. Zero to six. J would be something zero to six. So j would be something 0 to 6. So uh, this will simply run and we uh, we will take out uh, the proposal. So let's say this is a array p. So we will take out p of i and uh, we will check the confidence score that is this one. If this confidence score is greater than p of j then we will keep the maximum as p of i. We will take out the maximum from here after taking out this maximum we will return this as a as a selected proposal this is a simple algorithm what happens when there are multiple objects in a single image so in that case so in that case let's assume that there is another object which is needed to be detected and it's here and it has object box like this or let's say so how will I know that this proposal p1 or and this proposal let's say px are two different proposal of different object it may also ha uh, happen like this let's say the object is not here but object is somewhat closer to the first object let's say the object is somewhat here so the proposal p1 would be something like this and proposal P2 would be something like this. So if you will see the two proposals are overlapping. So how will I identify that P1 and P2 are actually or P1 and Px are actually two different proposals? So what happens in this case? We use a concept of intersection over union. So we will say that these two uh, we will find out the part of the proposal p1 and px which is being intersected. And we will divide it by the part of union. So this ratio if we will take a threshold value t if this ratio is greater than threshold value we can say that these two proposals belong to a same object. This is known as IOU intersection over union. So for example, if the two proposals are actually same, so their intersection and union would be equal. So this ratio would be 1. The more, the less, the, the farther these two proposals would be, the less would be the intersection and more would be the union. So this value will tend towards 0. So let's say if we keep a uh, threshold value of 0 0.5, all the uh, all those boxes which have a point uh, intersection over union ratio of 0 0.5 will be included for finding the for finding the maximum uh, scoring proposal, and all those which have the confidence value less than 0 0.5 will be discarded and won't be considered for that particular object okay so this is the concept of uh, this is a concept of no nms non-maximum separation so 
it uh, uh, as you would have already guessed there is one problem which uh, have uh, which have occurred and actually uh, uh, actually confused the researcher a little bit what happens if that uh, if that these like i took the example that p uh, 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 this p1 and px actually belong to you know, two different objects and these two different objects are actually very close to each other as you can see as these two objects are very close to each other so it is possible that their proposal intersection over union is greater than 0.5 when these two proposals are have a intersection over union greater than 0.5 that is they are overlapping more than half over each other then our algorithm will consider these two proposals is for a single detected object but actually as you can see they are for the two different detected object let's say the confidence score for p1 let's say the confidence score for, for p1 was 0.9 and confidence score for p2 was 0.8 so due with the with the r algorithm of non maximum suppression this px proposal will be suppressed so this will be suppressed and will be discarded and p uh, p1 will be taken as a final proposal but actually these two proposal were for different object but due to the uh, more uh, due to the increased overlapping and intersection and our threshold coming greater than 0.5 that is intersection over union was coming greater than 0.5 so our algorithm thought that these two intersection these two proposal are for the same object and actually discarded the new, uh, proposal for the newer object so what happens is that this is the output which we actually see in this case this is a image and this is was a black box and here is a green box and actually we, we see this proposal this is the output and actually green box is all together not detected this is not detected to conquer this side effect of nms it was introduced uh, uh the soft nms was introduced the soft nms simply say when a threshold of iou is less than the when iou is less than particular threshold do nothing simply do nothing because they two uh, uh, it is uh, that they two would be the, uh, 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 belonging to two different object then we don't have to do anything we don't have to discard it when iou is greater than t th uh, a particular threshold what we will do we will we will simply reduce the confidence sorry will reduce the confidence of non overlapping one of uh, we will reduce the confidence for example uh, of the proposal so if let's say it was 0.9 and let's say there was a new proposal for it and it was here it was overlapping and it has a 0.8 and what happens is that i will take 0.9 and for 0.8 i won't discard it i would reduce it to for example some value 0.6 and then i will uh, take this as a 0.9 as a final proposal for this particular object but this proposal is not discarded this exists in our system so when we are computing proposal for this particular object we will consider this proposal with a 0.6 confidence value so this proposal will exist for example if it would have a multiple proposal of its own for example this would be the proposal it would have a confidence of 0.4 and this being the highest proposal would be the this proposal would be taken as a final proposal for object 2 so this is the soft nms uh, which was uh, devised by the researchers to uh, counter the effect of the counter the drawback of the nms which is uh, which we just saw so if you have any question regarding the same you can post in the comment i will try best to answer it thank you please like it subscribe it thank you thanks a lot